All right, guys, I just finally spotted a buck over there. You're just catching them between the junipers. Really tough to identify, but he looked to be about a 170 buck, about like last night's. So I have to glass them with the, with the 15s and then have the spot and scope all ready so when you see a man, you just yank it over there and get on them. So at least it tells me there's some bucks over there. Have to keep watching though. Well, I've been staring at that spot for 40 minutes and I saw the one buck and then the other one got in the trees where I could look at them. They just have that uncanny ability to do that it seems like. So I don't know what the other one was. By the way he was moving pretty fast. Big bucks don't usually move fast. I think it was probably just a regular deer so I'm gonna keep watching. I'm not gonna go over there because once you go over there you're committed. You gotta, you gotta sit and wait for them to get up and I don't want to sit on a buck, I don't want to shoot, so we'll keep watching. Well, I gave it another hour, so it's been almost two hours since I saw those bucks go in the cover over there. And I'm just going to keep scouting around. I don't think either of them were real big. I think that one was about 170, about like the one I saw last night. He was a little weak on his back, uh, left side. Um, but, you know, nice buck. Whenever I see bucks like that, it just tells me there could be a big, big buck around. Okay, this time of year, they'll use the hang together. So, uh, anyways, nothing to get me excited to go over there and tear it up, though. So, long old boring days when it's like this, but that's buck hunting this time of year. It can turn on at any time. <laughs>